cause of saving the rainforest is a cause for the whole of the people of Brazil. Not only that, it's the cause of the people of the whole of the world. If the rainforest dies, then my country is in danger. And all the people of Europe, of North America, we are in as much trouble as the Kayapo or the other Indians of the Amazon. The beginning of the Rainforest Foundation actually was quite simple. I visited the Brazilian rainforest and uh, was asked by one of the chiefs if I would help him demarcate his land legally. Because they had all kinds of invasions by loggers and miners and farmers who were destroying the forest. Yeah, I'll try. I, mean, I had no idea how it was going to be accomplished. Um, but, you know, five, six years later, we worked out a strategy where we actually succeeded and every, everyone said, no, it's impossible, you can't, you can't ever do that. Basically, my contribution to the Rainforest Foundation since we founded it has been to provide funds for it to uh, carry on year by year. And um, we have an annual event, one, one annual event at Carnegie Hall, which I invite my friends to play at. It's just very easy to get artists to come and, come and do it. And everyone who loves, loves it, people keep coming back and begging to do the show, which is nice for a benefit, very unusual. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no. Or a it's important for people's attention to be brought to this. It's something that I really think is a really good thing, a cause to uh, to participate in. You don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down words. How wonderful life is for you in the world. The whole thing about the human race is if we can't care about something and we can't be self-centered uh, in our lives, uh, this is important. I'm Bob Kane. Coming up on the International Hour, we'll examine new ecological reports on tropical rainforests. Thousands of acres of rainforest are destroyed All worldwide going down the every river day. The Amazon the for the crops of progress. and cattle The tragedy and is that they won't be replaced because what these trees once grew is fast becoming a desert. 70% of prescription drugs sold in the U.S. come from plants found only in a rainforest environment. Scientists express continued concern about the potential devastating effects of rainforest burning. You have to be careful. You have to open your eyes and open your mouth to explain to white men. White men is bad for us. The white people steal our lands. We have had to see a lot of murders and we want them to stop. done a benefit for uh, like six years now. People feel that uh, they're doing something very special by being in Carnegie Hall. The producer of the show is Trudy Styler, who also happens to be my wife. What brings us together is conviction. A deep down conviction about what we should be doing to save our planet, its rainforest and people. Some of the benefit tickets are a thousand dollars, they're twelve hundred dollars this year. So we really, the onus is on us all to put on something that really is spectacular. Although we've had many offers to have this event um, 
televised. It's something that I've always shied away from. I think when people are being that gracious and generous, you know, it's really important that you give them something completely unique and let them sit and watch the show in comfort and not have, you know, television cables and cameras all over the place. Oh, first kiss ever I took Like a page from a romance book the sky opened and the earth shook Down on Copper Line Down on Copper Line The pressures on, uh, on the environment and on the, the earth are so uh, relentless. Uh, the economic pressures to, uh, to exploit uh, the environment are so, so constant that it, sometimes it's, uh, it's daunting to try to be doing this kind of work or concerned about it. But it's more discouraging if you do nothing, you know. Regardless of, of whether or not it's, it's getting a lot of public attention, it's important to sort of to, to keep working on it. I haven't written a song about the rainforest or about the Indians or... I'll tell you why. One, it's too complex. It's too complex an issue to try and condense into a couple of lines. Also, I, f I feel because of its complexity, it needs to be talked about, it needs to be argued about, it needs to be discussed. Um, and I've no interest in, c in combining those two worlds. I don't want to exploit this. I don't want to make a record about this. I really have no intention of doing that. Um, but I will use my uh, fame, if you like, to create a platform for these ideas to be discussed. And I, I, I can take the criticism, I don't mind the criticism, but I think it's important that people talk about it. If you do a concert and people go away with a t just go away with a t-shirt, you haven't really achieved very much. I think you have to uh, create a, uh, an environment where people are talking and thinking about the problem, and not just s singing a song. That's not to say that music isn't important, it's just not... It's just not my interest at the moment to, to sing about that. Every single day and Every word you say Every game you play Every night you stay I'll be watching you I think everyone's bonded and joined by the same feeling that we're we're not really doing this for ourselves, we're certainly not doing it for any money, really we're doing this for the cause, and the cause is something that affects us all. Since you're gone, I'll be lost without a trace. I dream at night, I can only see your face. I look around, but it's you I can't replace. They are some of the best talents in the world, and a lot of them have families and feel the same as Sting and myself, that you know, it's time that we drew a lot of awareness and addressed this problem. Guitar for this tune? Do you mind? I won't touch anything. I won't touch the strings or anything. My wife, Trudy Styler, she had this idea that we should, we should do a tribute to Elvis. And at first I didn't like this idea at all. We came up with this concept, It's Now or Never, which was one of Elvis's tunes. But it also has a great significance to what we must all do, I think, to help the rainforest survive. It's now or it's never, really. The more I got to think about it, there's, there's, there's quite a, a body of work. It's actually, it's rarely done, actually. So we, we all did Elvis songs, or, so, or songs from that period. You know I can be found 
sitting home all alone If you can't come around At least please telephone Don't be cruel To a heart that's true See, people are paying like way beyond Eagles prices to see Elvis impersonators. To give you tomorrow. some idea. <laughs> without, without even the suits. Elvis impersonator impersonators. <laughs> without, without, Not even Elvis impersonators. <laughs> without even the Second, suits. Second, third generation I, I impersonators. Rent the suits. Elvis, actually, Elvis loved the rainforest. One more time. My one and only prayer is that someday you can. My hopes, my dreams come true. My one and only Music is the universal language, regardless of where you're from, what your background is. Uh, I think that the 90s, the whole decade, has become a, a we era, and people are, I've noticed, a, a great change in people's attitudes and helping other people and getting more involved in charity work. A lot of people uh, that are on this roster are lending their names to a lot of different charities that are affecting the lives of uh, thousands of people, you know, in their immediate reach, and, and maybe hundreds of thousands of people on a broader scale. I am thinking about so many things that my hair is turning white. Now the Kayapo must think about what will happen if the whites take our land. Will we become extinct? We must raise our heads up to fight against them. This is why we are united. Inevitably, opposition, um, whenever you try to make change, um, we're, we've always been the enemy of the Brazilian government for uh, interfering. You know. On the outside, I think that we've run into uh, criticism from the press, especially in England, who say, you know, well, Sting should just get on and be a rock singer. But um, it doesn't deter him or us with that with our cause it's too important will you stay with me will you be my love among the fields of body we'll forget the sun in this jealous sky as we lie in fields of gold sting was already uh, 10 years ago concerned about the the, the fate of the society when I met Sting, I met him not because he was a star. And I don't, I don't know Sting as a star. I know Sting as a wonderful human being, concerned about social issues. At that time, he was helping us in Amnesty International. He already was an active member of Amnesty International, which meant every day writing a letter for a prisoner. I mean, a guy who takes the time to do that. It's something really important. Frank Asciutta um, was the chair of Amnesty International. She is a lawyer by profession, has um, saved many people from death penalties and prison sentences throughout the world, mainly Africa. Uh, she's a modern day hero in, in my book. When you fight for the fate of the rainforest in Brazil or the rainforest in Indonesia, it doesn't mean that you're not concerned by, about the issues in your own country. It, you know, it's in a sense, uh, the world is a global, is global. And when you fight for those issues there, you also fight for your own issues at home. In a sense, they are very much linked.
whole concert is now in its um, sixth year. We did a, a wonderful concert last year when I called it an eclectic night out, and we had Whitney Houston, Tammy Wynette, Pavarotti, and we ended up um, in the finale of ha having uh, Luciano um, leading everybody in singing Donna Immobile. <laughs> James Taylor, he loves to come back, and Elton too, when he can. Don Henley worked for us. Paul Simon has done it twice. Who else? Herbie Hancock did it one year. Um, basically, it's people I know, you know, and just call them up and say, look, do me a favor and come and have fun. I think a very fun memory for me was um, when Tina Turner came along. I've never seen the Carnegie Hall audience so animated when she came on stage with all the boys who, you know, who, who were doing the concerts. They just keep coming back. I think they enjoy the experience, you know. It's a very sort of easygoing event. You turn up the day before, you sing a song you like. had the best time every year and everybody else has. So we're doing it for fun, but you know, also for a serious reason that we're supporting the work to help the indigenous people of the Brazilian rainforest. The money goes to funding um, educational programs, uh, health programs, to try and help these people to uh, come to terms with the 20th century or so-called progress, you know. Progress usually for them means uh, they just get swept over by a tidal wave of stuff they can't deal with. I was born in a country in a trouble spot. Uganda, and I feel that as, as a musician, um, if I can contribute anything through my music, you know, uh, I will. There's no use saying that um, we are moving forward in the name of, of progress and then uh, forgetting about um, what 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 feeds us, what surrounds us, um, we, we need to preserve. We managed to support Kayapo Chief Brownie with his wish to demarcate this particular area of land that began our work. Uh, this was done last year. We demarcated his land, not only legally, but also physically, in that uh, we trace the border with, with satellite be beacons so we can uh, monitor invasions into the land. And it's been so successful that it's now being used as a model for further demarcation of land within the Amazon and within rainforest generally. So um, it's been very successful. I mean, the battle isn't over. Once you've demarcated, you still have the problem of, you know, solving other problems. <laughs> But um, it's been tough, but very worthwhile. We have 
many ongoing projects in Brazil which will keep us very busy for the next five years. We also think that we should start to expand doing pilot projects in other countries and we're looking at Guyana as, as our first venture out of Brazil at the moment. The, the rainforest is still burning, it's still being destroyed and our plans to build roads through it but uh, we keep trying to slow progress down so that these people can be accommodated with the help of my friends.